Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video in this Django tutorial series. And in this video, we are going to do something more exciting. And in this video, we are going to discuss on how you can register users to your website. So uh, let's run our server first and let me explain to you how registration works. So let's go to the website and let's go to admin panel. So in order to register, you know, users to the website, you can start by creating your own models. But since Django provides default users models, we are going to register them over here. But right now we have only admin and it's fields. Like I told you, the fields is the username. Of course, it is the password. And in the Django, it is, it uses, I think, SHA-256. Yeah, SHA-256 to has the password and then it stores the password like this. Here is the first name, last name and email field and these are all the other fields with the permissions and stuff. So we're basically going to be adding to this table and then filling in these fields. So to get started, uh, we have to create a forms.py file in accounts. So we'll just go ahead and do that forms.py and from Django import forms from dot from okay to in order to access this users model we can just do from django.contrib.auth.models it's a really long import uh, it's going to be import user and then we need to import a user creation form that is provided default by the django so we'll just say from django.contrib.auth.forms import user creation form okay so uh, we'll say class and then we'll say registration form and it's going to be it's going to be user creation form this time it's not going to be forms.model form it's going to be user creation form and as usual class meta and we have to specify the model it's user and the fields they are going to be username and there's a first name, first name, sorry, I don't know what's happening with my typing today, last name, email, we need password one and password two in order to verify that they have entered two password correctly. So uh, that is how you create the forms.py. Now we need to create views.py so in views we let's just say uh registration we'll say define register and it's going to be request and let's check if the request dot method is post you must be familiar with this now we are going to say form equals to registration form and first let's import forms And then user registration form it's going to be request dot post or none check if the form is valid if form dot is valid then we will say user equals form dot save and then uh, we'll get the raw password it's going to be raw password sorry it's going to be form dot cleaned data it's going to be password one we can just get the data from password one or two it doesn't matter because it's going to be same so now we have to authenticate the user so to authenticate the user we need to import from django dot contrib dot auth we have to import authenticate and let's just import the login and log out real quick and then let's authenticate the user so this will store the user into the database and this will authenticate if say user is going to be authenticate and username is user dot username and password is going to be raw password 
Okay, now we have to log in the user. So we'll just simply use login, request, and user. And then we can just return redirect to main and home. And uh, let's say else it's going to be form is registration form. And we'll render request and then it's going to be accounts register.html form form okay so uh, I've said accounts forward slash register.html so we need to create a templates folder and then we need to create accounts folder like I told you in earlier videos and then inside there we'll just say register.html and then we'll extend from the main slash back uh, base.html. We'll recognize it's extending from the main app. And we will say block content and end block. So let's just make it as the same thing container card card body. And we'll say heading three the text center register an account and we'll just give it a form method is going to be post and as I told you a post requires a CSRF token or else it's not going to work it's a cross-site forgery security and then we'll just say form and crispy so since I've included crispy here we need to load crispy form stacks load crispy forms tags and then we need a submit button it's going to be submit and value is going to be register and let's give it a class of danger and then let's include it in the urls.py so that we can view it in our html and let's just do path register Sorry. Views dot register and name is gonna be register. Okay. So let's see if it works or not. We'll do accounts forward slash register. Like I told you, we included in the URLs that it's gonna start with accounts and then whatever URLs we have it over here. Register. So it seems like it worked. Okay, I'm sorry. Over here it worked. Let's register an account. Let's say YouTube and we'll say dot com and let's just give it a really strong password because we have a really good password validation system here and then if everything goes correct it should okay it says the password didn't match okay let's give it uh, okay let's see if it works it didn't work okay uh, for right now let's just get rid of these validations because it's going to be really tough for us to you know type in the password again 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 and again so let's get rid of these we just need a minimum length validator let's just get rid of these in settings.py under auth password validators we can just keep minimum length validator or we can just get rid of this as well for right now so it'll be easier for us just to YouTube and let's do and it says object is not callable it says clean data password one let's see what error we got over here raw password it's not clean data views oh okay it's dot get I'm, I'm it's real bad of me it should be get because the clean data doesn't take any parameter it takes a method so let's reload it and it should give you an error i guess because yeah it just creates a user anyways so we'll just do test 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 at email.com 
and then it says redirect is not defined but it did go through because it has reached up to this point so it should have worked let's do redirect and then let's go to admin let's not try to do it one more time because i know for sure it has worked okay under users as you can see here's youtube and here's test so it takes the first name the last name the email and it just says active for right now we haven't tweaked with any of these over here and it stores the password by hashing it so uh, let's try it one more time okay we need to log out we haven't added any function over here let's do accounts register new and we'll do this and yep that worked let's go to admin it says you're authenticated as new so that's correct and it's it logged us in as well so let's go to admin and let's verify that the user is over there and there you go there's the new user so it may seem a little overwhelming for you guys at first but you'll get the hang of it later and if you have any problems up to this point just let me know in the comment section below and until then keep watching